Hello, I'm Michelle and this is Bully Bumpkins and this is it, we're on our last row of our crochet along. We've been working on this 3D mitered granny square blanket together now for quite a while. This is it, this is the last round. This is where we bring it all together. We start to, uh, we make an edge around all four sides and we start making the granny square look crisp and ready to be joined together to all the other granny squares. So today's colour is the turquoise. But before we show, before we do that together, let's just show you how it looks with 12 squares up until the work that we did yesterday with the navy um, mitre square, mitre round. Oh, mitre row, I'm getting tired. <laughs> there we go. So you, as you can see, it's, it's crying out to be finished now. So let's, without further ado, let's turn this camera around and let's do it together. So we're going to start in our corner here and we're going to start with a treble and then we're going to work across here. Okay? So using our turquoise colour yarn and oops, making sure that this square is front facing. There we go. So it's actually this corner that we're going to be starting in. Put our hook through the corner, get our yarn. Pull it through. Do our three chains. One, two, three. Drop the tail yarn and then we'll carry on. I'm going to work another two trebles into this corner and we're going to seal up that corner right at the end, this here. Okay, so for now we're just going to work trebles, treble clusters along the straight edge. Now you can quite often get so excited at the fact that you're working the last round of the square that you can sometimes have an odd number of treble clusters. So that's what we're going to really try not to do. You can fast forward this bit if you want to. <laughs> Apologies for my bad singing. <laughs> that couldn't even be called singing really, could it? <laughs> oh, 
I'm just gonna move a moment. And have a stretch. And unravel some yarn. Nearly at the corner. <laughs> My boisterous family. <laughs> he just walked in and his face was a picture as he realised I was videoing. <laughs> right, we're at the corner. Okay. So what we're going to do first, we're going to work our treble in this corner here. There we go. One. Two. Can you eat them all coffee? They've been eating chilli, really hot noodles. <laughs> Three, <clears throat> and we're gonna have to do a corner here. One, two. So what we need to do to make sure that we've got enough, we pick up enough treble clusters along here, is to count these ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so we want 17 across here. So, just looking at it now. Let's zoom in a little and bring it down here so we can look at it. What we're going to do is we're going to have one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Do you see how we do that? So let's just show you. We're going to start with a three treble cluster in the corner. Then we're going to move to, can you see this? So they, they, these are trebles, but we're going to move to this hole here where this is single. And we're going to work treble cluster in there. So one, two, three. Then we're going to move on to, we're going to miss that treble cluster and we're going to move on to the single treble. And we're going to put our treble cluster inside that hole. So one, two, three, and so on. Missing treble clusters then go into the single one hole. Okay, so let's crack on with that. And I think I'm going to fast forward to the end of this side so that we can count them together. So I've worked to the corner and although it looks a little bit uneven, when you um, come to, uh, let's go back here, like, when you come to crocheting the squares together, it gets rid of all that unevenness. You can see by there. Oh no, you can't. Let's just drag my camera back a bit. There we go. You see by there. Right. So we need to count. We had seventeen along this straight edge. So we need seventeen across here as well. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's perfect. Now we're going to do our two chains and turn. And we're going to do the same thing across here. We're going to go into all the holes of the trebles there. But then here we're going to miss a treble and then go into the single. Miss a treble, go into the single. So that we get 17 going across here as well. 17 treble clusters, that is. So here we are then. We've worked along this bottom edge, along this side edge, and along this top edge. So let's count what we've got here. We've got, should be 17. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I lost my sight then. I looked away. <laughs> Start again. One. I'm just wondering if I can zoom in a bit for you. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then we're going to turn our corner here. And we're going to work 17 across here. There we go. So we've worked our last row now. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 trebles. And we're just going to close up the corner there by working two chains. And then going into the three chain at the beginning of our round. And pulling the yarn right through. And let me just get some scissors. Here we go. And we're going to pull this yarn right through. Doo -doo. Hey guys, folks, friends, fellow crocheters of the earth. We have finished our square. Let's go. Out a bit, there we go. So we've got our turquoise going all the way around. Yay! So all we've got left to do now is to join the squares together. But we're not going to do that in this instalment. That'll be in the final one tomorrow. So, yay! We did it, everybody! We did it! <laughs> See you soon! Bye!